Hi guys, it's Tim from Advanced In-Car Technologies and today I'm very quickly going over the new iOS 12 uh, third party navigation so google maps on the new systems of in vehicles that have got carplay and android auto but specifically uh, apple iphones so ios 12 was launched on the um i think it was the 7th, 17th of september 2018 and it's opened up the doors to third party apps such as google maps ways etc google maps have now updated their app to allow for carplay on CarPlay systems. Uh, Waze is it's still in beta phase, so it's testing. Once it's released, then you'll then get all of that stuff on the screen. So if you've got a car with Apple CarPlay and you know how it all works, um, then your phone, as long as it's updated and got the updated Google Maps, then you'll be fine. So just very quickly, just make sure that you have got the latest software update. So go into your settings and check for the um, the version, make sure it's number 12, and obviously make sure you have got Google Maps installed, otherwise you won't be able to do it. Ignore the Thinkware, uh, that's a dash camera installed. So this, once it's finished, it's on its thing out. So, um, so now it's finished. Um, all you have to do is get your normal lightning adapter, plug it into your updated device, and away you go. This isn't a specific Audi um, tutorial. It will work with any vehicle that has got um, the system installed. So it's all plugged in. Phone can now say CarPlay, and it's all transferred to the screen. So like I said, this will work on any car that has got the latest Apple CarPlay system built into it, and you've updated to iOS 12. So what we'll do is, using the MMI controls in this specific vehicle, um, we've got our normal app stock Apple apps, and now we've got Google Maps. So there you go. We'll bash that in. We'll turn the lights off because it's a bit dark at the moment. And so, yeah, so now we've got a third party Google mapping running from Apple CarPlay. So if you're fed up with Apple Maps or something like that, you can now have access to Google mapping. And as you can see already, we're getting traffic information, which is really cool, really useful information. So what we can do, let's just quickly run through the settings. Obviously, because it's CarPlay, it's designed to be very, very simple. So you've got avoid motorway, avoid tolls, avoid those, satellite map. Yeah, let's do it. Let's see what's going on with this. Um, let me just turn the Wi-Fi off on my phone. And so, here we go. Um, we've got our Apple CarPlay. If we click into down here, we can do different things like moving about. We can zoom in. And as you can see, we're currently parked. It thinks advanced in cars just over here, and we can move up and down. So phone connected, we've got all of this lovely satellite mapping. So if you've never experienced anything like this, um, you're, you're well in. So using the controls, if you've got a touchscreen system, you can obviously bash away, but this doesn't have it on this particular one, unfortunately. Um, and what we'll do is we'll do a quick add destination. Let's go to, uh, let's go to a coffee shop see what's there little red roaster that's a great coffee shop locally to here we'll bash in it's going to give us all the routes we can choose which one we want to, which way we want to go uh, obviously when you're locally you can use all of this depending on which one you want to go to uh, you can click the overview gives you more information and you've got the different coffee shop options clicking through here at the moment so um, let's go back to little red roaster and let's click go Obviously, you get your safety message there. Just dismiss that. Head southeast on Wall Road towards Ringwood Road, B3068. So there you go. You're getting your voice prompts. As you drive along, you'll get all your um, routing information. We're currently off-road at the moment, which is why it's saying to go onto this road. So we'll go out of here. You can zoom out again using this scroll wheel here it's a bit confusing when you don't have touch screen and you can see more of an overview it wants to take us down here but that isn't actually a road uh, that's a problem with google and uh, yeah it's a really cool bit of kit i really like it i think it's going to be more usable than the audi system and this is great as well if you've got an audi or volkswagen but don't have you weren't fortunate enough to have google mapping built into your system as long as you've got carplay you've now got google maps um so yeah that's pretty much it um you can go back to your system there. Uh, certain vehicles will give you uh, routing information on your driver's information system, and you can have other apps running at the same time, such as Spotify, TuneIn, all of that sort of stuff. 
quickly jump in and when you're ready it will root you and then you can go back to finished like there still got your settings you can turn off the volume if you want to um, and yeah it's a really good bit of kit I think it's going to be it's going to make systems a lot more usable and we get the Google mapping that we all know and love um, we'll do the Waze one once it updates and comes onto the system just to show you how it all works like I said this isn't specific to Audi if you've got an Apple CarPlay enabled system in your car you have now got access to iOS 12 as long as well you've now got access to Google Maps on your main screen as long as you've got iOS 12 and you get satellite mapping how cool is that um, if you need any more information then comments below uh, obviously we do these videos um, to try and increase our presence out there so give us a like subscribe all the usual sort of stuff and uh, thanks for watching